Are labels in Jira case sensitive? Let's find out. Hey everyone, I have a simple question for everyone. How do you ensure that your dev tickets don't stall if someone is on leave? Resolution has a simple answer. Just install their out of office assistant and make sure that those tickets are automatically reassigned. It's super easy, but for some reason, many people don't know about this app. Make sure you click on the link in the description below for a 20% discount. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've ever created a label in Jira, then you may have noticed that depending on how you type the label, sometimes the labels will show up. Other times you're accidentally creating new labels. Now I'm personally not a big fan of labels. I always urge teams to not use labels whenever possible, simply because you can't guarantee that your team's not accidentally gonna either A, create new labels or B, reference the wrong label. My preferred method is to use a custom field, but that's a topic for a different video. But today we're gonna to be answering the question, are labels case sensitive? Well, we're gonna jump into Jira and we're gonna try a couple of different things because in my research, I actually found this question to be rather difficult to answer. So let's take a look. So inside of Jira, I'm just gonna randomly open up any issue. This will work for any issue type as long as you have the labels field in there. Um, so you don't have to be in one specific type of project or another. You just need to make sure that whatever issue you're gonna be doing this in, you do have the labels field available. So here we are inside of an issue. And as you can see here, I do have a labels field available and it currently says none. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a label in here that's called my label. And as you can see, by doing this, this my label doesn't exist. And you can also see that it's all lowercase. So when I click on enter or actually click on this new label, Jira is gonna automatically now create this label. So I now know that this label exists because it has been basically like put into a little box. And now if I click out, that is now a label. Now this is good because now with this label, it's basically applied to the issue and now I can do filters or JQLs and I can do anything else off of the reference of this label because this label is now associated and attached to this particular issue. But we're not here to learn about labels. We're here to learn about is the label case sensitive? So what happens if I make a capital M or a capital L for my label? So let's take a look at this behavior. So this is really, really interesting. And I want you to pay special attention here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click back into my label field and I'm gonna this time click or type capital M my label. And I'm gonna leave the lowercase L. Now you'll notice that it doesn't find a match and that's because it's not letting me, it's not letting me create a new label called my label because a label that's called my label already exists as you can see to the left. And it doesn't find another label called my label because again, the label's already applied to this issue. So there's no other my label to find. And I thought that this was really interesting because then what this is telling us is that the answer to the question, are labels in Jira case sensitive? Then the answer is no, they're not case sensitive because it doesn't matter if you use all uppercase or all lowercase or any mixture of them, as long as it's the same letters, Jira's gonna recognize that you already have that label in existence. So as you can see here, it won't let me enter it, right? So when I click enter, it actually just got rid of it and it says, hey, you already have a label called my label, so calm down, dude, right? And the same applies like if I try to do like all capitals, right? If I try to do, as long as it's the same spelling, because watch what happens when I add an S. When I add an S, now it's not the same characters. Now the characters have changed and Jira's gonna treat this as a completely new label which by the way, low key, this is one of the reasons why I don't like using labels because it's easy for your team to uh, accidentally like put a typo or add extra letters that they just didn't know or make it plural versus singular. And it's just gonna mess up the data because now you're gonna have various labels that are either misspelled or have extra letters to them. And it's just not gonna yield the same results that you want. So always go the custom field route. Are you assigning issues to people on PTO? 
Without a vacation calendar inside of Jura, your tickets can stall out for weeks. Don't let your Agile delivery stall because somebody's on PTO. Resolution has the perfect solution for Agile teams of all sizes with their out-of-office assistant app for Jura. Fix your current workflows by appointing backup owners and ensure throughput doesn't stall when team members are away on vacation or holiday. Check out the out-of-office assistant in the Atlassian Marketplace and get a 20% discount with the code in the description below. But anyways, as you can see, as if I remove the X, though, as because I have the same characters, the M, the Y, the L, the A, the B, the E, and the L, Jira's going to treat them the same. So that answers that question, but it doesn't stop there. Check this out. I thought this was really interesting. If I back this all up, right, and if I remove the existing label, so I got rid of the my label, and now if I do capital M, capital L label, notice that Jira gives me the option to select that previous label that I created, and I now have the ability to create a new label. And so if I go down this route, and I click new, you'll notice that I have now a label, my label that has big M and big L. And even more interestingly enough, I can still go and apply the original label that I have. So now this presents a really, really big problem because now I have two different labels with different cases. And this could, and we're going to test it in a second here, but this could present an opportunity where your team might create a label, somebody else might not select it from the drop down, but rather type it in. And as long as it's there's no field in there, you can see that Jira is going to let you type in and create new labels. As long as that existing first original label is not in that label field already. So this is interesting, right? So basically, it allows me to it allows me to invalidate the statement of our labels case sensitive in Jira. Well, now the answer is yes, because the answer is really it depends on how you're creating the label. And because you can't trust, you can't guarantee that your team's not going to go one way over the other. Again, I'm going to just default to my original statement of try to avoid labels whenever possible because you can get yourself into this phenomenon. But the final test that I want to do here is even though I have these two different labels, the big M, the big L label and all lowercase label, when I do a search, when I do a search for my label, does it bring me back both issues? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave one label here with all lowercase. I'm going to go to a completely different issue, put the big M, the big L label, and then I'm going to do a JQL and see what comes back. So let's go try that. So we're going to just leave the camel case one here, leave that one alone. And then I'm going to open up this story down here. So you can see this label has this label. We're going to get rid of it. But I'm going to put all the lowercase one now on this one. So now I have two issues, one with the big M, big L, and then one with all lowercase. We're going to do a JQL search over here. And I'm simply going to type in, we're just going to go labels equals my, and I'm going to start with the lowercase one. And as you can see, both of them do get returned, but I'm just going to pick the lowercase one because so my theory is if the answer to the question, are labels case sensitive in Jira? And the answer is no, right? If you're saying no, they're not case sensitive. You can use any permutation of any combination of these letters and you're going to be fine. Then when I click search here, when I click the search button on my search, then both issues should return because they're going to be using the same label with the different cases. But if when I hit search and I only get the lowercase letter, label, then that is going to prove and show you evidence that Jira is indeed case sensitive when it comes to labels. So let's find out. Put your bets in the comment section down below. So I'm clicking search and it brought back two issues. It brought back the my label with the lowercase and it brought back my label with the uppercases. So there you go. So even though, even though you are creating two unique labels, the search capabilities is going to treat them as the same. So the ultimate answer to are labels in Jira case sensitive? The answer is no, although it's going to fake you out if you end up in that specific scenario. So hopefully this video helps clarify. And now we know that we have an answer that labels are indeed not case sensitive, at least based on these different examples that I've given you. If you have a different way or if you've been able to prove this wrong, please do let me know in the comment section. I would love to do a follow up video if I'm wrong, but chances are that I've shown you enough evidence here to support 
that it's going to work and that it is indeed case insensitive. It doesn't matter if you use uppercase, lowercase, or any permutations of them, as long as it's the same letters, right? So if, you, if I were to have done la like my labels, plural, then that for sure would be two separate labels and it shouldn't return here. If you've ever assigned debt issues to someone who is on vacation, remember that the out of office assistant for Jira is there for you and it is incredibly easy to set up and use. It has integrations with Slack and Tempo and you can connect to Outlook or Google Calendar using Zapier. So you don't even have to maintain any dates, super easy to use. Try it out today and get 20% off by using the promo code in the description down below. I bet it won't disappoint you. So anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do make sure you smash that subscribe button. This video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0 series, and we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, and we're so close, so, so close, and we can just do it if you just take a second here and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like and share this video with everybody you know, and if you want to support the channel, make sure you check out the description down below, as it's going to have all the information from all of our sponsors and all the different ways that you can help support this channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need